You're going to have dead people on the field. And do you want dead people in the field? So you've got two kinds of injury, brain injury. You've got acute and chronic. Right? We're talking here about uh, CTE is chronic injury. It is the kind of injury that results from repeated subconcussive and concussive trauma. But there's also acute brain injuries. So, you know, subdural hematomas, whatever, things that kill you like that, right? Take away the head, you're going to have fewer of the chronic kind and more of the acute kind. You're going to is have that what was happening in the, that's why they, of the 20th century? Yeah, that's why you got helmets in the first place, because there was one year in college football, I've forgotten what year, but around the, just past the turn of the century, where you have like a dozen people, I've forgotten the number, but some extraordinary number of kids die in the college game, and they realize they need some kind of head protection. So you can't, you can't take away the helmet, because then, you, you, know, then you, have, you really would kill the sport. I mean, it's a, it, there's no way out. I mean, you can't, there's no fix. That's the thing. That's why this is so kind of, uh, such a problematic issue. It's sort of fait accompli in a way, but it's going to be a long... Yeah, it's going to take... I mean, the question is, what is our tolerance for uh, society-wide um, sanctioning of an inherently dangerous sport? The suspicion is that it's subconcussive, repeated subconcussive trauma plus some kind of underlying genetic susceptibility. So one notion is, you know, not everybody who gets hit in the head, um, uh, you know, 100,000 times ends up with CTE or whatever, I'm making it up thousands of times. Ends up. It's some subset of that group who we think have this, maybe have some constellation of genetic deficiencies. So one idea is, if we knew what that constellation of underlying genetic deficiencies was, we could simply bar those kids from playing football. That's a start, right? So then you've got, then you've narrowed your problem a bit. But you still, you're still left with a, you know, an inherently dangerous game. Are you ready for some real football? Yeah.